All right, this is Nick Lowry and three of my good friends. This is David Rose, Cameron Siemens, and Damon Cornelia, and they're going to help me out. We're going to take a look at some basic functions that you find in Aikido work that uh, revolve around uh, an, a, an internal sense of isometrics. And, and these are often displayed as, um, as, as demonstrations of key. But um, from, a, from a more uh, scientific point of view, or, or body dynamics and kinesiology point of view, we can, we can identify what's going on in the body causing these to happen. And you can become subtly aware of, of how to control these internal functions so that you can exhibit the same qualities. And they are useful. We'll get into their usefulness here in a moment. The first one that's most classic is let's say I have, uh, come on, let's say I have David, and I'm going to place my, my arm just on his shoulder and have a nice unbendable arm position. I'm making unbendable arm, and what you hear classically is, oh, I'm concentrating on sending energy out through the palm of my hand to the end of the universe, and that's all cool. It's a nice poetic way to describe that I'm engaging the, the, the kinesthetic feel of pushing extending forward. Um, um, I'm engaging the, uh, the isometrics in my body of basically a bridge so that the musculature is going to, to, to be set up in a particular kind of uh, locking function. So if we're in this type of position, he would reach up and try to bend my elbow down. Good, and I keep a push going with my hand. So let me turn around so you can see the hand action and he's pushing and collapsing my elbow, and he has a hard time doing that. And in fact, we could get Cameron over here. Come on, Cameron. Get over here and, and just hang. Wrap around my elbow. No, no, just, just reach up, squat down, and just hang. Yeah. And really, the pushing function that I'm doing, uh, I'm not giving a whole lot of concentration to extending key, I'm just giving concentration to the push so that as they try to, to, to cause the elbow to bend, they have no success. I'm not even particularly stressed. My voice isn't, isn't too stressed. There's some stress on my, <laughs> my bicep. I can feel it. But it's not causing a lot of stressors. And it's, we'll say, well, Nick's a big guy. We'll do it to Cameron. So Cameron's here, smaller fella, and I'm going to try to crush it down. And he can tell you, he can feel pressure where I'm putting the pressure on him, but it's not like um, it's any big work for him. And in fact, come on, yeah. So you just hang there a little bit. Put your body weight, yeah. Now he's got a lot of body weight on it, good? <laughs> so that's the unbendable arm function. And that function is how we're basically doing. It sets up the physiology of bridging from his back leg into his forward hand. And it's how you push a cart, it's how you push a heavy door, it's how you push large objects, large bulky things in your natural world. You're just bringing the hands out in that particular way. That's an isometrical function. You're setting up an isometry in the, uh, isometric tension or torsion in the body to create that structure. We have other ones that, that are uh, a little more subtle than that that you see sometimes. This is often done. I'll uh, sit in Seiza, and you have a man come up, and he's placing his hands, I'm trying to avoid the mic there, but he's placing his hands on the points of my shoulders, and he's pushing me over, and you know, oh, he pushes me over. I'm just settled and easy to knock over. But if he's pushing over, and I place my fingers directly under his forearms, and I lift lightly, I'm just lifting lightly, and he can tell you, He's pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing, and my posture isn't changing much. Now we're going to get, um, come on, Damon, you're a little bigger. Come over and get on here and do the same thing. Just start a pressure. Good. Good. And then you can put Dave behind Damon, and you can put Cameron behind Dave. And I can tell you, I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling pressure, but the pressure I'm feeling is all shoving me down. They have the sensation that they're pushing forward through space, but because I've created this vector, I've put a little pressure up, they're actually, the line of drive that their bodies are physiologically trying to affect me on are now driving me harder into the earth instead of laterally over the ground. Now this is done, come on back, Cameron. 
We do this with these hands like this, with the little finger touch here, but really, once you've got the, uh, the, the, the isometric feel of it, he's pushing and start, come on, gradual. I can tell you it's very similar because of how I'm tensioning my body like that. So why don't you try it, Cameron? Sit on down. Good. And now just with your fingers, just two fingers, just like this, you're just going to place it under my forearms, and as I start to put pressure, you just lift lightly. Good, and I'm bridging at more than half my body weight, which is considerably greater than Cameron's. Now see if you can do it just with that feeling of lift, okay? It's tougher. Oh, you didn't quite get it. You ready? <laughs> Same kind of feeling of lift. So isometrically, you're going to tense from the abdomen and from the thigh muscles and have a, a, a lifting sensation on me, okay? Almost. You got to right there. Bring it into me. Now pushing into me. Up. Up. Yeah. Up. There we go. It takes a little practice, but over time, he'll get the same kind of effects than if you have the, the actual hands in contact. The easiest form of this is with the hands in contact. You guys want to try this too? Here, have a seat. Good. Go ahead and get him there, Damon. So first with the hands, just a light lift with the fingers, and Damon can tell you, it's just pushing you down further. Now, make that same connection, but through his own hands, isometrically tensing the body in that same line of lift, okay? See if you can feel that. Comes all the way from the th shins. Yeah, but you're, you're, yeah, try it again, real slow, gradual. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not too bad. It takes quite a bit of practice to get the internal sensations the same. But over time, you can wind up with very much the same sensation. They're driving, 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 and then you can all even stack the people behind them. Same kind of thing. It's very similar issue. Go ahead. Yeah, try it. Pressing in, using the fingers, just lightly lifting, and feel how easy it is. See how he's pushing you down? But David feels like he's pushing you back. Good. Okay. Now try it without the hands. See if you can do it. It's all right. Just that same feeling of lift. You've got to come up from the abdomen and the hips. Yeah, now you're settling in. It's closer. Ah, oh, you're letting it break at the low back. Feel rooted. There you go. Better. Good, 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 good. You got it happening. That internal isometric tension does the same kind of job.